what's up everybody welcome to my channel and today's in this video i'm going to show you how you can permanently fix the d3d11 error in all games on your any pc or laptop so guys make sure to watch my this whole video and if this is your first time here so please subscribe turn on the bell notification drop a like on this video so guys let's go straight into our this video so guys in the first step you need to download a pack on your pc link available down in the descriptions there is some files which you need to install on your pc for fixing this problem so open up the link from descriptions and that will take you here onto this website and once you are here now you need to go for the search icon and search for d3d11 and press enter from your keyboard once you press enter so it will take you here and there you will find out this article with the same thumbnail of my this video which is the d3d11 error on pc work for all game click on this article now scroll all the way down and there you will find out this kind of the download button click on this download button it will take you on the google drive click on this download button and download this file on your pc here you can check it out here this is 103 megabyte file click on this download anyway and click start download and download this file on your pc so guys once the download is complete now you need to drag this file or this zip file on your pc on your desktop now right click here and go for the show more option and click here for the winrar and click on the extract here or you can simply double click here and open up the zip file and drag this folder here simply on your desktop now open up this folder here you will go to these two files first here is the visual c runtime all in one october 28 version and it will guys fix all of the errors or the crashes of your pc for any game so now how to use it you need to double click here and open up this folder you will go inside all these files now you need to go for this first option which is the install all simply double click here click yes and it will start installing all of these uh, visual c++ files on your pc so guys once you have installed all of these files on your pc now you need to go back into the main directory of over this fix pack and here you will find out this dx web setup for installing the directx latest version on your pc so simply double click here click yes you will go to this kind of the interface check mark onto the i accept the agreements click next uncheck this box go for the next button and here it will start installing the directx on your pc it will take some time and also sometime your pc will hang on some points and once it's done here you will find out installation completed click on this finish button and close out this window once you close out it now let's go for over the next settings for our windows and the files which causing the error into your game so first of all you need to press windows R together from your keyboard and type your temp and press enter click continue and now press ctrl a from your keyboard and delete all of this file from your pc because these all are the junk file and this also causing the crashes or the error on your pc while you are gaming so once you close out it now you need to go for the next settings for your windows it is the same for your windows settings for windows 11 or the windows 10 so i'm using windows 11 so first of all you need to go for this gaming tab go for the game mode and make sure to turn on the game mode on your pc now go for the graphic settings related to the settings because sometimes your gpu is also not performing according to the uh, performance and uh, because of the low performance you get that issue so now you need to go for this option and once you are here now you need to find out that game in which you are getting the issue like for example i'm getting the issue on my fortnite so i will go here go for the option and set it on to the high performance then hit save and close out this window so guys now once you're done with the settings now i'm gonna show you one of the last settings for your pc you need to use for fixing this error so now go for your file explorer and go for the drive where you install your that game in which you are getting the uh, crashes so for example i'm gonna show you for the fortnite and the valorant and the gda5 so first open up the c drive so my fortnite is installed into the program file find out here the fortnite or the epic games folder go for the fortnite fortnite game binary mix 4 and here you will find that this directory there you have these four exe files right click here go for the properties of this file go for the compatibility and guys check mark onto this option which is the run this program in compatibility mode of the windows 8 select up this option now check mark onto the disable full screen optimization uncheck all of these boxes go for the change high dpi settings and also check mark onto this box click ok hit apply and click ok 
Now go for your this next file and do the same settings for all these files. Once you're done, now let's go for over the next game that is the Valorant. So go in your local Lixi or whatever drive where you install it. Go for Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binary, Win64, and there you will find out this exe file of the Fort, uh, Valorant. Go for the properties and do the same settings. Go into compatibility, check mark here, check mark on your disable full screen, change high DPI and check mark here, then hit OK and click apply and click OK. So once you're done with your Valorant also, now I'm gonna show you for the GTA 5. So you need to go for your D drive or the drive where you install your uh, GTA 5. So here is my GTA 5 free pack. So I will go here, go for the GTA 5 folder, main directory of your GTA 5 actually, go for the properties, then go for the same settings like compatibility check mark here go for the full screen optimization change high dpi check mark here click ok hit apply and click ok these are the settings which you need to guys apply on your pc for fixing out this issue and i hope so after doing these settings you will completely fix the d3d11 gpu error in your any game so guys thanks for watching this video and please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification and leave your opinion about this video in the comment section so till the next video peace out